So hello my dear people and I want to continue the previous theme which I have already studied in the previous video and but now I create the new format. I will um, try to read what I have already um, wrote in Russian and then translated in English. Oh my god, it will be new, something new. So, and today will be a very important theme. So, uh, this theme is why do I think that divine art is actually fake and why the old grading system of art will collapse? So, I will read uh, my text. Uh, now I still want to continue the topic of Dadaism, which I began in the previous video. When we, studied, uh, when we started this topic, my expert, as an example, began to talk about one girl from America who mocks up images, and uh, that's what her work is based on. So I exclaim, oh, I think I understand who I'm talking about. I saw this girl in Instagram. She takes different celebrity images from red carpets or photo shoots, uh, photo shoot of stars and makes parodies. Parodies? Parodies or parodies? You can choose something you want. So she makes parodies to show how an ordinary girl, a woman, will like, will look like in this role in real life. So Daria answers. Daria is the name of my speaker. I understand who you're talking about, but this is not her. You're talking about a blogger from London. I am talking about a photographer girl from art world. And uh, I immediately have the question. What is the difference? It turns out that one girl is a photographer who mocks pop images, makes exhibitions, and uh, sells photos and at uh, these exhibitions. So the another girl, she has fun, takes the same pictures uh, for the blog, not the same pictures, the same theme for the blog, and uh, most uh, likely earns on advising on her, in her blog. They do about the same thing, but in the first case, it is art because it is placed in a gallery. And in the second case, it is a funny blogger who entertains people. And there are many such examples, but uh, as it seems to me, it is a very clear example showing that the system of assessment, what is art and what is not art, have, has lived enough and needs to be changed. Thanks to studying art history, I realized since the 20th century, the whole system has already begun to fall apart. It seems to me that the beginning was laid with the period of post-impressionism, impressionism, when the accepted norms of painting began to change. Pointillism or impacting with the color or appearance of abstraction there were the signs that you could do things differently, in a new way, that you need to go beyond the accepted patterns and create something new and your own. But all this also applies to painting. That is, changing te the techniques, we will still use the brush and canvas as tools. A little later, new ways of expressing oneself emerged ready-made, installations, performances. People give themselves permission to seek their own method of self-expression. And uh, if it is placed under special criteria, for example, a gallery is placed in a building of photos and videos of what is happening are made, that is called art. If we're talking about performance every day, there are thousands of things that fall under this term, but we don't call this art, only because the is action is not recorded. That is at least not filmed on camera and not submitted to galleries as a project presentation. 
And uh, I think there are questions here. What then is called art? What criteria do we have for it? And how to evaluate it now? The situation with the art is also complicated by the fact that people have endowed this word and this human activity with a status of divine. I want to give a very simple example to clarify what I mean. Some time ago I decided to research how Russian contemporary art galleries live. And as you know or maybe don't know, contemporary art in Russia is barely starting to develop. One may say it doesn't exist at all. But uh, this is probably a separate issue. We will return to it later. And now the example on the subject, the divinity. Divinity, yes. So I decided to see what was happening in galleries in Russia. I opened the first project I came across on YouTube from the prestigious and respected place of contemporary art in Moscow. While I was looking, I had my jaw dropped from the paucity of the idea, the manner of this implementation, and most importantly, the comments of the curators of the project. The latter was the most outrageous for me. Because, okay, I'm fine with the idea and execution. We are all different people, and uh, to some people it will seem cool, and to some stupid. But the way they described it, so many buzzwords, elegies, but if you listen carefully, also uh, this is not very easy to do. One thing contradicts to another. Statements are not proven and shown. I am generally not the person who criticizes other people, because I try to be tolerant of many human manifestations and I am nobody to judge them. But then a very personal question arose for me. If I pass and just keep on silent, uh, don't comment and don't express my opinion, it means that I was just afraid to do it. It means that I'm just a coward, coward, a coward, and I'm afraid that this will be the end of my career as an artist in Russia, because I repeat, this is one of the most prestigious establishments in Moscow. So I went all in, made a long video, where I didn't simply shout unfounded statements, but it seems to me very reasonably proven why they were saying nonsense. I posted this video and received this comment from one girl. Maria, not all artists like you, not all have such education and experience. Ordinary artists uh, are different. They think differently. Nature created them that way. They do, try, feel, and this is already good. And what the result they have isn't uh, that important. Their very manifestation is divine. And to condemn them is like condemning God. We don't have to write to do this. And with uh, such criticism, we only cut their wings. And uh, my reaction to these words were like this. What a fuck. You know, probably, if I had never studied the history of different religions and philosophy, if I would never have studied the New Testament and uh, would never, wouldn't have been so interested in spiritual development, I probably would have nothing to answer to this. Because the argument about divinity, you already know something really very serious and strong. But here three puzzles come to my mind. My background as entrepreneur, 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 and marketer, my passion for spiritual development, and my experience as an artist and creative person. And I can say with the confidence that everything that is divine sells very well. And the idea that, the art, that artists are divine manifestation and uh, everything else is not so divine. For me, it is uh, absurd as to think that some people have a priori superiority over others. For me, this idea is uh, as stupid as thinking that white people are better than black people. 
or the idea of serfdom, a kind of slavery we had here in Russia. If you call yourself an artist, you now have like carte blanche for talking nonsense. But if you called yourself, for example, a blogger, uh, the demand, of course, will be higher. Now you have, now you have to rock, uh, try to stand out, uh, think about what you are doing and talking about. And uh, we will return to this issue a little late. And now also one another question. Why this broth of what may be called art, a priori has such a high status of art? I will try to reflect on it. What do you, what do you associate art with? For me personally, this is something very strong, very powerful. This word already carries some kind of power in itself. We call something art when we want to say something like this is brilliant, this is geniusly, or it's something to so strong that will push our culture to some other level. According to feelings, this is what develops our society, contributes to its development, will be inputs, inputs, inputs for changes. All these sensations we are priori, priori endowed to artist activity, especially if it is already someone connected with the building of the gallery. Galleries, of course, are different, but the most of the gallery, the main goal of the activity is to make a profit. For example, I created a gallery. I chosen artists who are the suppliers of what can be sold. As a gallery organizer, do I find it profitable to say that my artists do some garbage? garbage? No, as a gallery owner, I'm always interested in praising the authors I sell. Therefore, the opinion of such a gallery owner will be subjective. In general, I want to say that any opinion on this issue is subjective. Only time can be objective in this case. That is, if we endow the term art with a this is what develops our society, contributes to its development, becomes the inputs for changes. Then it is possible to objectively understand what is art and what is not only after a while. And to look around and understand that it was the person who influenced some movement, culture, formation, and in this case he awarded to be proud title of art. So I can suppose why this broth of creative expressions was a priori awarded the title of art, to make it more convenient to sell. It's just really good marketing. Divine, the status of art, and also in investment, just a royal flush of benefits and now for the I buyer. propose to return to the topic of divine. Let's think about what can be called divine at all. For example, inspiration can be divine, yes? You know that the very moment you don't understand why you want to something, you cannot explain the idea, the call, the feeling that arises inside and maybe contradicts all your principles, but you want to do it. So tell me, please, is this an explicable, an explicable, inexplicable thing inherent only to an artist. So probably if I haven't tried a dozen professions in my life and haven't tried to be an artist, I probably would have thought that it's different for artist than for blogger, for writer or for marketer or salesperson. But no, I can say with confidence that uh, this feeling can arise in absolutely any activity and under completely different circumstances. circumstances. Just like in any other activity, you try to connect everything that you feel with what the market needs. 
then you're disappointed in yourself, thinking that you're just a sellout and uh, you only need to do what you want. Then your money runs out, you open Instagram, uh, look at this orgy of eternal happiness and think that you are just nobody who cannot even earn money. And you keep running in circles, maybe in completely different activities, from inspiration to decline and back. But there is another complication. Perhaps people consider the subject of art to be divine, because supposedly we recognize ourselves through this area. But you know, it's a, a matter of faith. Probably no hurt uh, or yourself are in the same company. It can be called differently and take different forms, from meditation and spiritual practices to reading the New Testament. This is just the fashionable trend of knowing yourself through your life. When you see the reflection and continuation of yourself and in everything and everyone that surrounds you, you don't need to go and look at an additional picture in order to know yourself, because you already have your life. When you realize that you are the cause of everything that happens in your world, Life becomes very interesting, because you already act as the creator of your life, guiding, guiding it through your action, thoughts and sensation. I think there should be probably a separate video on this topic, but um, in a nutshell, I hope you get Maybe the Maybe you have heard terms like metaphysics of reality. The textbook for such metaphysics is the New Testament where the main idea is that you are created in the likeness of the God and you are the creator of your life. Creativity is a wonderful activity to reveal your talents. Inspiration is your inner voice and every person has that. Talents, inspiration and each person can be engaged in any variety of creative endeavors. endeavors. I hope I write <laughs> in cre of creative endeavors to reveal their talents. Creative creativity is a beautiful is beautiful either way. Not all creativity is art. In our society it is accepted that being a person of art is more prestigious j than just being a creative person. And it seems to me that this kind of test for your own ego. Why is it important for you to be there, uh, to have such status of art, to wear this proud title? Why is it not enough just to do what you want, to prove yourself uh, and to reveal talents, for example? And you know, it seems to me that the idea that creativity in, uh, is in everything and in everyone, but everyone manifests it to a different degree has been floating around for a long time. Here is my feeling. All the simplification of painting to Oh, my child can do this, just state that really all of us can, if you can afford such freedom. Show yourself, explore yourself, try new things. It's like a symbol of falling apart. That is, this area has already collapsed so much that the difference between the difference between bloggers and recognized artists is only that they later make an official application and registration in gallery, in the gallery. Then imagine if you give up the status of the divine. Either I do some kind of handsome product or some kind of performance. Then it turns out, as with any product, I have to have positioning, positioning, target audience, promotion strategy, philosophy, and so on. Galleries act as distributors and you can be their supplier on various terms. Museums make money by displaying all sorts of outlandish things from all over the world. 
and everything is immediately clear. And if you make a physical handmade product or do some kind of performance, you are not worse and not better, no higher in the status than, for example, bloggers or writers or mathematics or lawyers or marketers, because there can be inspiration and creativity everywhere. It's only about approach. And of course, uh, the point is not whether you are making money with it or not. Because again, different activities can be done with different inspiration and purpose for charity or for making money. In the world uh, where each person creates his own product of thought through the social network, the same can, ha can happen with the material objects and with art performances. If you want to do something special, please do it. Put it online and look what will happen further. I'm sorry for so long video, but I should add something. Uh, when I posted a video about the days, one my subscriber, very good guy, hello, hello, wrote to me, Maria, everything is great, but uh, in order to be in the field of art, your speech must be filled with fancy terms and buzzwords. So I interpret it as uh, I must comply with uh, with a certain canon, 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 canon of speech and image. And this further underscores the fact that uh, that art doesn't tell you, hey man, be yourself, create aware some products. It says, be able to pretend and you will be accepted. Or maybe not. But this is the elitist, elitist crowds criteria and guys i beg you i will repeat once again that i know how to pull the wool over people over people's eyes i know it really <laughs> but i don't want to do this at the point at one point i became so disgusted with myself and with my fake life that now i choose not to be like this and i am well aware that in this business Simplicity is worse than theft. But I don't give a damn. I know that I can create both cool products and my own value system that will resonate with my viewers and customers. I am choosing, I am not choosing to pretend to be accepted. I don't need acceptance of people whose values are based on optimism. And uh, I hope that I will reach my goals. Yeah, this finish. Ooh, ooh, I'm happy and you happy. <laughs> I maybe don't um, anybody see this. <laughs> so it was your Russian philosophy, Maria. Uh, it uh, was what I really think about this. Why divine art is fake. So, what do you think about it? What comments you have? Please write me your feedback. What do you think about it? Thank you for your attention, for this amazing uh, time. Not amazing time. <laughs> for your resource, for your attention. Thank you for your time. See you later. Bye-bye.